Hey guys, so I just filmed my Ipsy unbagging and I absolutely hate it. My energy was low. I seemed disinterested in it and I think it's because I don't have makeup on and I, I just didn't like how it went. So I'm going to try something new and I hope you guys like it. So here goes nothing. <laughs> So yeah, I hope you guys liked that little thing you just watched. I don't know how it turned out because I'm filming this right after. So hopefully it doesn't look super shitty and like I wasted my time. I feel like a lot of my time doing these unboxing, beauty box unboxing videos is me just pulling the freaking items out of their packages. So I wanted to just get that right out the way and do it quick. You know, not be in the video. Hopefully it turned out good. But I'm just going to go ahead and try some of the products real quick so you guys can see and then we can wrap up the video. So the first product like you guys see is this Mark Anthony Deep Repair and Conditioning Treatment. Um, we're going to go ahead and try this. It is white. It smells really good. I'm, I'm not a fan of the whole Argan and Moroccan oil smell anymore. So let's go ahead and put that in here see how this goes let's put it over here because this is dry see what it does um I can't tell anything right off the back that it did it did make this look and feel less dry but uh, apart from that nothing amazing nothing amazing and yeah I feel like I'll have to keep using that to see if I actually like it who knows? It's whatever. Next, I'm going to use this little snail wrinkle cream. Your girl doesn't have wrinkles. But just to see how it smells and everything else, I mean, I feel like I, I have to use it, you know? It's a super thin formula and it's really watery. From what I can tell, it doesn't have a smell, but I'm not sure if that's because that Mark Anthony has such a strong, powerful smell that it's overbearing. But where, where do people get wrinkles at? We'll, we'll do right here because people get crow's feet you know um yeah it's just a really super watery thin formula and i'll probably pass this on to my mom just because i don't get wrinkles my mom's in her mid-30s so that's something she has to start worrying about but yeah this product's not for my age range so I'm going to try the lip product. I'll zoom you guys in for that. Also, my mustache is coming back. Shit happens, especially when you're a woman of color. It just kind of comes back and flourishes. And I didn't necessarily invite it to this party, nor do I want it at this party. But I've been seeing a lot of Groupon deals about laser therapy and for your mustache. Well, for any part of your body that has hair. And I think when I start working full-time in the summertime, because I graduate in August, so I'll be working full-time after that, that I'm definitely going to get laser therapy because Naren get... Every week fucking sucks. That's neither here nor there. I'm gonna try this little liquid lipstick. I should align my lips first. Well, what can you do? Oh, okay. 
Well, I fucked up over there. This is a pretty color though. Wow, it looks really great on camera. Let me fix what just happened. I fucked up a little over here, but wouldn't be shy if I didn't fuck up. This color is giving me on my way to kill my ex-husband and collect the insurance policy vibes. I really like it. This is actually giving me... You guys know the board game Clue? This is giving me, there's one of the ladies on the game who wears red lipstick, and this is giving me those vibes. I really like this. Wow. It's kind of like a brick red, but it's like, it's like an orange, dark, red, I don't, dude, this color's fucking beautiful. I didn't think it was that much in the tube, you know, but wow. What, what the, what is it called? Vibing? Bitch, I'm vibing with this fucking shade. Look at this. Um, it dried down pretty quick, I would say. It dried down pretty quick. Like, you guys seen that? And it is a more waterier form formula, like the Ofra liquid lipsticks. That's kind of the consistency. It's not a really thick. You know, like the NYX lingerie lipsticks. First of all, I don't understand how people like those, but I, I hate that formula. But this is more of like the Ofra liquid lipsticks when it comes to like the consistency of the formula. It is kiss proof. I have nothing on the back of my hand. It dried really well. It doesn't feel uncomfortable on the lips. As soon as I put on the OG ColourPop liquid lipsticks, they just feel uncomfortable when I want to take them off. But yeah, I'm not feeling anything with this. Um, I don't have butthole. I mean, I kind of have butthole mouth when I do that. But other than that, I don't. It's really pretty. I really like this. Wow. Okay, bitch. Okay. I'm gonna do the eyes real quick and zoom you guys in and then we can finish this video. Okay, so this is an eye and I'm gonna take a color out of the Morphe and Kathleen Lights palette. One of my, I'm gonna take like a transition shade and use this new brush. This is the Boga Cheese Tapered Blending Brush as you guys seen. And yeah, I, I already know it's, 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 it's hard to fuck up on a blending brush, but we'll see. I didn't use a primer, but you know you know it feels good on the eye the other boga cheese brush i have it kind of hurts like it's prickly it's blending out well it's blending out like my morphe blending my morphe tapered blending brush yeah it's not blending it out patchy or anything plus these eyeshadows are to die for i love this palette yeah, it's a nice brush. I would definitely use this again. It blended it out how I wanted it to blend it out. So even if it looks shitty to you guys, this is how I wanted it to look. So my bad, but yeah, I like this. It's really soft and it doesn't seem cheap. Like this doesn't seem like the barrel doesn't seem like it's going to fall off and the words don't look like they're going to rub off. Like they seem like superimposed onto the, the barrel or onto the brush. The hair's really soft wow okay i really like this actually i'm gonna go in with the ico london and just put that all over my lid and we're gonna see how that looks mind you i don't have primer on so i don't know if that's cheating the system and not giving this a fair shot but we'll find out I like how it's applying. It's giving me a decent amount of pigmentation. Of course, it's giving me way more pigmentation on the back of my hand, but it's not a complete mess. So there goes the eyeshadow. I applied it all over the lid. I'm going to go ahead and put like a black out here to kind of smoke it out and help just these two colors blend together. I already like how this video is going 10 times more than my original video. That shit was dry. So I'm taking a black from the same palette and just patting it over here. And this is applying that black good too. Oh, that looks so pretty. I wish I wore lashes because this would look super pretty. It is harder to blend out because it is on top of this like cream eyeshadow and you can also use cream eyeshadows as bases. It, it actually doesn't look that good on camera but it looks really nice in person. I'm here for it in person. Just doing the other eye real quick. So 
So there go the eyes. I really, like, I didn't like the, I didn't like the eye colored stick at first, but now that I've used it with the black on the outer part, it looks super smoky, super sexy. If I wore false lashes with this and, like, oh, a freaking black bodysuit with some black high-waisted skinny jeans, this will look so fucking cute. Like, this is such a cute eye look, and it's, girl, y'all see, I just did this shit in real quick so yeah this is super cute i really like this and i didn't think i was gonna like it i didn't like it at first but now that i've you know completed the full eye look it looks so put together and it looks amazing this lip color to die for bitch get into this it's cute i really like this this is a winner so yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. I didn't like this bag at first, but I actually really do like it. The only thing I'm not going to get too much use out of is this little wrinkle cream, and that's whatever. I can't expect every product to be good, especially not for $10. I really hope you guys like this video. Please let me know what videos you want to see down below. If you want me to keep doing these videos, please thumbs it up. That's the only way I know that you guys like the video if you're not commenting or anything. Other than that, I kind of just go off views and girl just thumbs up the video if you like the thumbs it up so yeah that's all i have for you guys today like comment subscribe and i will see you in my next one which will be probably sephora play who knows when it's gonna show up but i love you guys and i hope you have a good day good bye i'm digging this look i mean if i throw a wig on it'd be perfect okay i'm gonna go now peace out